making a basic chicken curry simple seedha uh, so there's the whole spices which frankly you can add or subtract based on what you like then there's tomatoes onions uh, then there's garlic and ginger paste uh, i didn't have i ran out of uh, ginger so there's also a little bit of garlic because i prefer more garlic and um, then there's the powdered spices there's the chilies uh, and a few chilies and the coriander for the garnish and the onions so let's get started i've started heating the oil it's nice and hot so i'm going to now add the whole spices and uh, as usual all the details will be there in the description box below um and i'm just going to heat it for a couple of minutes out here till the aromas of the spices get released and i'm doing this on a medium flame nice uh, i can smell the spices so in go the onion <coughs> i've chopped the onions like really fine uh and uh, we're going to cook it saute it till it starts getting light brown uh, okay the onions are browning a little bit i'm going to add some of the green chilies and some of them some of the green chilies i'm going to put later with the garnish right at the end i like that little bit of rawish green chilies on the top so give this a minute or so and you know it's 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 all about the fragrances of these various spices being uh, coming out you know uh, like in the green chilies as well as the ginger garlic you're going to have to wait till the rawness goes out you know so that goes in now and I usually don't take that regular uh, gen uh, ginger garlic paste as I like to make my own but I realized I didn't have any ginger just as I started getting this whole thing going so okay we yeah. are I think we are all set to add the chicken it's approximately half a kilo of chicken and uh, now i'm going to increase the heat a little bit and just fry the chicken till it gets white that's maybe 3 or 4 minutes um okay 3 or 4 minutes up So now let's start adding the masala. The chicken has now got from its pink, it's become pretty white. And uh, so let's get to the next step, which is all the powdered masalas. So let's pop those in, including the salt. Um, and just a bit of water to prevent them from burning. Um, So now we'll mix these masalas and then let it cook for about 5-7 minutes so that the masalas get into the chicken and nice base for the gravy is made okay mix it all well not too vigorously that it comes back like i do ah, see stain clothes Oh damn where's my apron okay now i have my apron on but the horse is already bolted na no? and the splash is already come but anyway <clears throat> nicely mixed everything and time for the tomatoes to go in and um why i say this is a basic curry because it's like 
okay obviously like things like the onion and ginger garlic and all that you get you keep but you want you can add some red chili powder or you can have like i've added a bit of red chili powder and a little, and about a spoon or so of kashmiri chili powder so that gives a nice red color but you can you know have the green chilies don't have the green chilies have some of the um, whole spices whatever you have you know i mean it's not you can play around with all these things so it's like a sort of basic structure of the chicken curry and you can just food around with what you want to yeah? and now i'm going to let the tomatoes like break down get all mushy maybe five or seven minutes i guess see now the water is coming out from the chicken as well as the tomatoes and everything's cooking in that i just added a little water initially we'll add more water based on the curry uh, consistency of the curry that we want at the end and happy new year and cheers to everybody so it's been maybe five or seven minutes it's been cooking um, time to add the water i've got about roughly two glasses worth here so i've added a bit let's see where that gets us about half of it i've added now um, give it a mix and how thick do we want our gravy and how much gravy do we want um, my family likes to have more gravy good juice na thoda chicken kam khayenge rasa jala khayenge i think i'll put it all in and then i'm going to let it cover it and let it cook for about 10 12 minutes and that should be done because the chicken has already been sort of cooked while it was roasting and frying you know with all the masalas and all that once i'm going once it comes to a boil i'm going to reduce it the flame to minimum cover it and cook it for maybe 10 minutes and that's it that's that's all there is to it simple sweet tasty it will be if you want you can even add potatoes and make it a potato and chicken gravy if you like um, you can make it thick gravy so you can have it with roti or you can like i like to have it with rice uh, okay coming to a nice boil so i'm going to reduce it the flame and cover it and finish this drink and a little bit pour the other one should be 10 12 minutes i'll be back cheers everything is looking great it's been about 10 12 minutes i've added a little color in this not even finished it and uh, i think the consistency of the is how i like it um, time to garnish and close let it sit for a few minutes closed and then we're done so here's the kothmir and those few green chilies that were left over they go in uh, the flame goes back down to the minimum and we're kind of done yeah, a little more coriander will do mm. so yeah we're done and that's why i said this is so simple okay the cutting and chopping is minimal just the ginger garlic paste onions and tomatoes and it's like basically a one drink cook cover it close it let it sit for five minutes have another drink and serve <laughs>